the idea for the hoverboard campaign came as part of our overall uh, project are called Amazing Emotion for Lexus. The creatives here are constantly trying to come up with ideas that demonstrate how innovative Lexus are around design and technology and finding new ways of bringing that ethos to life. So the team that are responsible for the campaign are um, a creative team called uh, Brad Worth and Dan Bailey and um, they came to me with a, um, a small um, clip of an MIT experiment with a superconductor that was cooled with liquid nitrogen floating on a small magnetic track and they said we want to take that technology and scale it up and make a hoverboard out of it. I think this project from start to finish had lots of unexpected challenges. From creating something that hovers to designing the actual board to designing and making the park. While we were all worrying about can we get this thing to levitate, can we actually pull it off, I certainly hadn't worried about well can anybody ride it and of course it's not like it's not like skateboarding at all. We've got to collaborate with a whole load of really clever techie people that ordinarily you know we wouldn't get access to. So we've been sitting sitting through physics lectures and science lectures and learning about magnetics and superconductors. Our creative teams here are now can talk like physics professors about the technology that actually goes into creating a hoverboard, but they can only do it working with um, you know the best in the business in terms of the, the technical expertise required to actually make the film. Arriving in Barcelona and seeing the actual skate park being built and just the sheer size of it, uh, we'd always seen it as just a 3D model, but then to see the size of that jump. It felt like it was the culmination of 18 months work to see this skate park fully constructed, uh, to see Ross having mastered the hoverboard, uh, it felt like all of our hard work over the last 18 months had been worthwhile. What people are interested in sharing is very rarely advertising. You know, what they are looking to share are acts, if you like, rather than ads. I think it's better to go out there and actually do something, show that you're creative or show that you're imaginative. I think increasingly clients are going to have to think about different ways in which they can engage their audience away from traditional broadcast communication. What is next is a particularly hard challenge given the success so far of uh, Slide, but I've got a couple of ideas, I'll possibly.